members here whom we have selected to share their appreciation to God for his remission for acceptance with Christ from their own peculiar perspective. We have a male and female, old and young, uh, to share with us their views, to show you, to demonstrate that the salvation of God is effective at all levels of our race. So first at this time, my own brother in the flesh, but more than that, my brother in Christ, Brother Tim Blake. Uh, as Brother Gibbon mentioned, I'm, I am Tim Blakely. I'm here from uh, Portland, Oregon. We're three and a half hours away, not very far. In uh, this world of life, I serve as what is known as a manager. Sometimes I think uh, the manager is the person that, when everything's broken, you turn it over to them. And that, uh, in that respect, there's a spiritual image in there. We can, when things are broken and, and we try to manage our ways through our life, turn it over to the greatest of all managers and physicians, our great God, who is more, more powerful than we are. As, we, as I look in uh, the realm of uh, management, and I, I'm concentrating on this because so much of my the hours of my life get spent. Is that I have to spend time trying to earn a living and, and to get through this life as, as best I can with the obstacles that it lays down before me. I, I have to study principles of, of management. One of them you always look at is the organization chart. And if the organization chart within the kingdom is, is elementary. God the Father reigns and is on high. His Son, Jesus, is our great redeemer, and we serve as a brother with him. We're here talking about uh, justification, and uh, I've, I have collected a few thoughts. I'll try to go through them here, referencing these notes. Uh, as, I, as I live my life in this world, I find that it feels that it's very filled with evil, and it causes me a great deal of personal and spiritual conflict trying to deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. I, I find that I have uh, a place where I can go, where I can find peace, but that in order to get through this world, I, I, I must admit that it, it is difficult because the people and the situations and, the, and frequently the decisions I have to encounter are not, are not easy, and the environment that I'm in is not one that mimics God's kingdom. <clears throat> and that's precisely why it's, it's difficult, because the world that, that I live in does not recognize the truth, does not ground it in, in God's word. And that, that's what makes it difficult for all of us. In contrast, I have access to eternal things, the truth that can, that can ground me and give me peace, peace in God through Lord Jesus. It's possible as a result of being justified through my faith. Christ died for my sins, and I see my job now to store up my treasures in heaven. And as was discussed by some of the brothers last night, I can exercise my faith to flood my mind and my heart with the beautiful truths of God, and thereby crowd out the evil tempter that's continually there, trying to find his way in every crevice uh, around me. I praise God that he has imputed righteousness without works. And I feel extremely humble, for I know that nothing that I can say or nothing that I can do or nothing that I have said or done will ever cause me to be justified, but that is, is through Christ's gracious and loving sacrifice for me personally that I have the opportunity to be justified and for my sins to be forgiven. And though it, it, though it seems so magnificent, it does seem quite simple to me. It's apparent to me that there's a very long and upward road to God. As I listen to the many brothers here at this renewal, I recognize that 
Many of the brothers uh, here are ahead of me on their road, but that I don't react to that in a sense of competition as the would of the world, but rather in a sense of, of reassurance. And in fact, that it pleases me that I'm able to gain a, you know, a better sense of understanding and nourishment from these other brothers that who are ahead of me. I praise God that through Jesus Christ that I am redeemed and I am justified by the great sacrifice of God's Son, who died and gave his very blood for me personally. I'm excited to be here at this uh, renewal. It's hard to find a time when you can develop the level of intensity that we have here. With that, you can, you can in fact renew. You can, as we talked earlier, throw away some of the rocks from the well that's within you, dig into some of that cold water that you can not only use now, but that you can, that you can store in your canteens when we get back out into that other world. I guess in closing, I just want to offer my prayer that, that each of you will gain a significant uh, growth from this, that each of you will gain some renewal in spirit, and that you will be challenged to dig deeper into the scriptures and to gain a closer walk with our Lord Jesus. Yeah.